<laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, I believe we are officially live. Are we? Yeah, we're down there, see? <laughs> and up there. We're in a million different places. My hair's a mess. Hi. You look great. So end of a long day and a kind of crazy couple days. So I'm sorry, Thanks. yes, folks, that yesterday... I'm you good. You want to go higher? No, I'm All right, good. You're good? I'm All right. close. Hi, everybody. This is Bill and Lori from Lesson Picks, and uh, thanks for joining us this evening. Uh, sorry about last night. We had a... Uh, I, I screwed up. I shouldn't have scheduled it. It was entirely me. And uh, the good news is we've got stuff to show you today. Uh, so I've got a uh, bunch of screens here that are going to be hard to track. So I'm going to kind of clean up my mess uh, and get it so that I can show you lesson picks down here. Um, you and go. we have our Look comments. Here. Look at this. Juanita's here. Hi, Juanita. And Hi, Juanita. Near, near Atlanta in Paulding County. Mm -hmm. So we've got a bunch of stuff to show you today. We've got lots of new templates. Lots and lots. Lots and lots. And a new And a new feature. feature. And a new feature to show you guys as well. And what we, if you've never seen one of these before, it might look haphazard and crazy and long. And it will be. And winging it. And we're definitely winging it. But uh, what we're going to do, what we're really looking for here is uh, videos that we can use for each of these templates to have attached to the templates so when people want to use them, they'll understand why. Exactly. And it's just easier for us to do a live video with you all and get your feedback and things like that. And uh, then we'll cut it up later and put it on the individual uh, templates. Not to mention it's fun. We get your feedback. Uh, we can hear from you, so if you type messages in the um, in the Facebook comments, I will say hi. Angela's already said hi. Played with the new stuff today in Texas and love it. So oh, yay. tell us. We will see that, and then we can actually make this video even better. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. So we've got a lot going on today. Um, I've got the ability. I'm set up here to demo these if you want me to show any including that nifty new feature. Excellent. But we're going to start with new templates. Oh, we are, not we, with your new feature. Nope, we're going to start with new templates because you finally got here. Well, the <laughs> <laughs> I didn't just run in the door. You didn't just, she, did, she didn't like just run in the door or anything. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So um, let's go ahead and uh, see a new template. See a new template. Well, there are so many to start with. So we're going to go in the order that my printer printed them. Okay, that works. That? that works for me. All right, the first one, which... Got a lot of buzz. And, and I'm not, I don't understand this at all, so you can explain to me why this is important. Well, I think it's an authentic writing experience um, where kids can make, and adults, woo, hi. There you go. It's nice to Small see you. Small adjustments. <laughs> all right. Um, these are postcards, and they are so simple. This is a user request. Mm -hmm. So and, and actually a big, big, important user of ours. Yeah. So this we had a, a couple requests people request. The first, I think, was Jane Odom. Jane Odom. I think Jane Odom was the first to ask for this. She and asked in like 2014. And we might have dropped it. And, but uh, yeah. and we're good now. She might have asked again. But we got them now. What matters is that they're here. They're here. That's right. And, and so so these, these are for practicing writing and uh, introducing... Um, for commu er, early, writing, so. early communication. I know that uh, Alyssa Wern was excited about it for that. Yeah. And uh, they have a post. I know somebody else um, in Fairfax County, they have a post box that the kids put. Aww. Right. And so How they put cute their stuff. is that? I think it was Fairfax. It might mm -hmm. not have been. It might have been in Canada because they painted it red. Anyway, they posted it on Twitter yesterday. So postcards. Very cute. Very and so cute. it's got room on the left for you to type a message. This is the, the, the put thing you put in the title goes on the left and it wraps. Mm -hmm. And yep. the right is for the children to write who they're addressing it to or their own comments. And then uh, you you made two of these, right? So one of them goes on 8.5 by 11 paper, two per page. Yes. And the other one? Prints on 4 by 6 index cards. So you don't have to cut it. Just like the magic index Just cards. Just like the magic index cards. It'll print out. It's got a good um, thickness to the paper. And it's cheap. And you can color on the back. The back is plain or print something different right. on the back. Or they can draw a picture on the back. Um, and off it goes. Or you can glue it. They're four by six. You can glue it to a photograph. Right. And that's send true. send it out. All right. So very easy. All right. Easy so this is, that's postcards. And you'll find that. It, um, which section is that in? Do you know? It is under early literacy. Okay. And um, it does come with text and no text. So you can just have one big picture and room to write all the words yourself. So uh, let me explain here. So if we look for postcards, there's postcards. And you'll see, hey, they look like exactly those samples. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty cool. So the postcards are here, um, and then you just follow through the normal wizard. 
Uh, in this case, you have uh, there. It's in Spanish. In I'm, Spanish. I'm not sure why. Okay. But um, you'll see. You can you can actually uh, write multiple lines here, and they will wrap correctly. Hey, and you can add the background colors the and everything. That's right. New baby in the house. Yeah. All right. So you guys will all see that a lot because that's gonna unless I clear my tray. All right. So let's take a look at the next one. Are we ready? The next one is a favorite of mine. I'm okay. actually very excited about it. It is question cards. Oh, yeah. These were a hit, too, weren't they? Oh, I love these. All right. Um, we've needed these for a while, <laughs> and we've I couldn't figure out how to do it exactly. Um, it seemed like something that was much easier to make in Word, where I'd use the Word app or right-click, copy, right-click, paste, and put it right in my Word document and make my question and my three answers or two answers. But now we have a template for it, and, you and like it. I love it. Okay. I love it. It does have wrapped text, which means that you can't change the font, but you can get several lines of text, and you can even get them underneath the pictures. It starts with one question or comment or statement at the top, and then one, two, or three answers below. Gotcha. And actually, this is the this is the title of the of the material, mm -hmm. and then this is the text. That goes with it. So Her, some people might want a, a blank title up there. I did. I deleted yeah. the title on this one because it was kind it of It shows busy. how it works, right? But this one helped me know that this is the title of the book that the questions go with. Excellent. So the so book this is, is I Love You. This is great for, for education, and it's great for like kids circling which one they want and choices. Do you have a, a errorless option? Well, yeah, you can choose just one picture. I didn't print one. Sorry. Okay, but, but you can put one picture at the bottom. You can put so you one can picture. Error. Exactly. Air, I look at that. Look at the buzzword. Come on. Air, I'm an engineer. I'm so errorless. proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, I don't understand the errorless one, but I do know it's important. So, it so I've is. heard. So. And you know, that doesn't even have to be the same picture on the errorless. It can be something different, and you're making an association. So there's a Great. lot of reasons to have one picture below to answer right. your question. And Juanita is telling us on these that they're great for practicing for the Georgia Alternative Assessment. Hey, okay. Actually, Florida any of the alternative assessments, yep. probably, yeah. Exactly. And you can do no text as well. So if you just want the pictures, like the that. pictures gotcha. and use auditory prompts, no yep. words, yep. there you go. Yep, absolutely. So this Thank is you, Juanita. question cards. Excellent. Okay, question cards. Done. Love them. Done. Two down. And you can print them full page, two per page, or four per page. Gotcha. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Not that I hope we they have like my art green grid. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's <laughs> but all right. I love that Juanita and, and anybody just put, throw out put ideas. Put something up here. Okay. There you go. All right. Bella is. I wonder what's this. This is, might be about your Bella. Oh, my Not goodness. that she has a, a grandbaby. I named just Bella. picked a name randomly. Randomly picked the name. Gotcha. And these are our poem templates. Poem to another um, Jane Odom request. Another Jane Odom request. Um, I didn't understand the value of this because okay. it seemed like it was. I don't know. Better done in a Word document. Very simple Word document gotcha. or some of the templates we already have. But as I played with it, you I like started it. to see the power in I it. I see. So it's basically one picture symbol going down the side mm -hmm. and then room for wrap text. So you can write more than one line so this, going through. So this actually, it reminds me of the um, scales and ratings mm -hmm. without the structure of the one through six or things like that. And it's top yeah. down. It does go one to ten. Right, but there's no numbering and there's no ordering, and the styles are basic like this. It's very simple, very clean, gotcha. um, very easy to read. Um, I did like Miss Teresa wrote questions and left the, the squares on the side for the students to and so cut to out do and that, glue. she added a blank a blank picture or blank symbol mm -hmm. into her tray, mm -hmm. and then she duplicated it and wrote the text in. She did. That's it. So that's so for those of you creative. who don't know how to leave blank spaces. That's how you leave blank spaces. You search blank. You look for the word blank. Should I show them that? I think sure. I've done it before. Uh, All right, let's, let's take a look real quickly. So if you wanted to do that, you'd come in here. You'd literally go up and type the word blank. Hit enter. And it's going to give you blank. This is a blank picture. It really is a blank picture. If you drag it over here, uh, and let me actually show you that it'll actually put a, you can't tell. But it's there. There's a blank there. And so when you actually go look in the uh, in the material generator here, you'll see, oh, there's a blank. There literally is a blank. And then you can put whatever text you want. 
It is not a white box. We have white boxes if you want white boxes. It is not a white box. It is transparent. It so is a you... transparent square that you can use for when you want a placeholder that otherwise would, you know, you're taking a place that would otherwise be in the way. And therefore a picture you can would be add color. Way. And that's what you did here, yep. which is awesome. Which is very cool. And um, if you did no text on this, mm -hmm. you get lines for the students to write their own poems. Oh, good idea. So, th so if you choose no text instead of um, with text, you have lines for them to write on. And they can write their own poems. Uh, awesome. Yep. I, like the, I like the shamrocks and letters. And you change them all to green. I changed them all to green with right. the color change right. tool. Yeah, it works well. It is very cute. It's great. Yeah. I'm ready to use it. This is real stuff. This is I know. We're, stuff. This isn't all make-believe. I get it. <laughs> we were running a therapy center here. That's right. That's right. So she did the same thing. She left lines with the symbols going down. Kids can write descriptions, use it for science. It doesn't have to be poems. It can be anything. Right. We and might, like, change that name. Poem or... I have naming issues. You do. I know. I know. We're going to go into yeah, we're gonna have some naming is a, issues. Naming has uh, been very tough. All right. So Teresa, in her infinite wisdom, took that same thing and used one of our other new templates, charts and tables. Okay. Using the same pictures that she had over here with descriptions and then did um, characteristics down the side. And I thought that was an interesting way to That's use cool. two different templates for one activity. Excellent. So we're going to get into that template next. Yes. We are. We are. And so here. this is not our graph template. This is a chart template. Charts and tables. It's just that. And it seems so, like, obvious. Just it's simple. All right, well, it's the same as picture cards. Only difference is there are headers at the top. And there's vertical lines. And there's vertical lines, very All right. thicker lines. Yeah, so, so let's take a look. You can change the colors at the top and use it for something like a schedule. So these are calendar dates. Monday, and then Tuesday, Wednesday. We have a calendar template in there, but this is much more versatile to lay it out how you need to mm -hmm. put anything at the top. Okay. Um, I have... How do you feel How today? How do you feel today? Right, so what zone, zone are you in? Even though we don't use and, that word zone. But it has examples of the different feelings. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, when I walk expected behaviors, this is another social behavior map that lays expectations out. These are all in the sharing center ready to use. But the same template is used for so many different things in so many ways. This is my second favorite your template. second favorite template I like the question cards I really like this too gotcha so we have a taste test for a science group where they can vote what they like uh, self um, monitoring your behavior gotcha using just a smiley face icon that's black and white mm -hmm. put it in they can highlight it, they can mark it. it. Um, and another behavior chart. So very cool. So there's a, there's a couple of things I want to show mm -hmm. because these have a lot to do. Also, we have a question. I can also use the work. I can also use the work. I don't know what that <laughs> means. We're not hiring. We, are, we just did that. So let me show kind of a couple of things about this. Let me clear my tray. And so I, I am working here for a second. So... Mm -hmm. um, I just want to find some of these in the sharing center. So here's your stuff here. Let me, they can see what I'm doing. There All right, so I'm in the sharing center. What I, I want to grab um, one of these charts. Let's say this one. Okay. And I'm just going to load the tray up. Okay. And I just want to show kind of what you need to do to lay it out that way. Excellent. Okay. Great idea. So it's not our simplest template, right? So you have to think through this. You got to think through it a little bit. So we're going to go into charts and tables, which is a chart right there, chart table. Okay. We hit next. I've got my pictures. Okay, you've changed Thursday. Oh, you made a custom one for TH. Gotcha. Um, and then on the next page is where all like the rules are. How many columns do you need? In your case, you did six. And then um, you, the default here is that the box color is um, is white. So there's no box so around. That the, so that it doesn't show the border. Uh, but we also have this new checkbox, and we're going to come back to it. So for right now, let I'm me... I'm excited about the checkbox. I know. She likes the checkbox. I'm going to put this red so that everybody can see it well. The most important thing is you are going to use the grid layout on this template. Yes. There's really no way around it, right? It was needed. It's it absolutely was... needed. Mm -hmm. So then in this case, what you did was you, you moved uh, your days over like this, 
you eventually move the blank here. So there's your first row, mm -hmm. right? Good job. Uh, just for a second, just to remind them what we're aiming for here. That's the that's the goal, right? Yep. And so now these are all backwards. So we're gonna. Whoop, sorry, I'm <laughs> I'm moving I'm moving the, the wrong window. Screen. Sorry. I guess so. We're gonna drag these over. And this this is the right layout. In your case, you wanted a different background, so you painted the top uh, yellow like that. And that's pretty close to what you had. The order yep. over here is different. Um, it's fine. It's good enough? Yep. All right. So, yeah, you, I, I can make it exactly the same. I hit Save Layout, and the only difference here is I have the red box. So you'll see in a second why. Um, this is going to make it, and it makes the template. There are, I'll, I'll look at it as a PDF, there are no boxes in the top because they're in the header, right? So the, the header pictures up here don't get boxes no matter what, but these do. And it, a lot of people don't know how to get rid of things uh, like this. Um, one answer is you make the border white. Right? That, that works on any template where you can set the color, period. Right. right. So if I wanted to fix it the way you did, you would go back here, hit back. By the way, it doesn't cost you anything to hit back, right? Uh, and you could you change this to white. In fact, you made the default on this template. I did white. because I think because, you'll use that the most. Right. If if this isn't here, right? So one of the neat things about this, I'm going to go up to seven, so we have some extra blank spots, and I'm going to make this black. So if I look at the grid layout here, I've got a lot of empty blank spaces, right? So let's say for a minute that I wanted to do like a true graph, like a normal curve or something like that, right? And for whatever reason, I wanted the boxes, but not where they were blank, right? So that's that's what this checkbox does right here that says hide unused cells. So if you turn that on and you hit finish, you'll see that the boxes are going to be there except on the ones that are blank. And this is really important. Mm -hmm. Like, this is one of those things where we are finding we use this all the time. Yeah. All the time. So on the pick places where the te the square is gone, it doesn't put any border, any picture, or any text there. It just removes it. It's cool. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. So um, I wanted to make sure people saw that. That is not on every template. It is currently on chart tables. Mm -hmm. Hall passes. Hall passes? I'm not sure why. Okay. <laughs> and picture cards. dynamic picture cards. So if you look at our big picture card, like our main picture card template now, if you had, uh, for example, a layout that had, I don't know, six by four. Seven by four. Seven by four. Yeah, sorry. Seven by four probably would be better. Let's do seven by seven. Okay. So you've got a big old grid and you wanted to move things around anywhere here, right? All the, the rules still work. You can still paint everything. You can say, give me medium spacing and a big thick border. But if I check this box, the blanks will now disappear. And that's a big deal. There's Game a changer, lot of times when people really want this. And they right? like to conserve every they want, bit of ink. Yep, yeah, ink is an issue. I, I, yeah, well, I've heard. I've actually heard. Right. So there's the, there's the layout. You'll see that the ones that I moved out of the way are truly blank. This actually lets you do a lot of different layouts using just the picture cards. Yeah. And what we're finding is we're going to add that to a lot of templates. Right. I mean, there's, there's no doubt in my mind that um, a few things will have to get it. Playing cards needs it because it uses the because most it uses ink. a ton of ink, yep. and if you have nine yep. pictures in your tray, you're going to end up with a page with seven blanks. And that will take a little time to uh, yeah. Get that that one, that one up, will take some time. We're going to make some other changes there first. Uh, but there are yep. a lot of templates that this would benefit, and we will uh, we will add this. Woohoo! New feature. New feature. New feature. All right. So are we moving on? We're moving on, and we're going to go a little faster through uh, the rest right. of these templates. You mean we're not going to be on here for three hours? Well, at this rate, sure. We might be. All right. But uh, All right. that's because there's a lot of templates. All right. The next one is a very quick, um, simple template. Another user request. Actually, the request was for exactly this with a clock mm -hmm. and a, an activity. 
And the reason is this person requested that the gen ed teacher as well as the student know what time the therapy is. The gen ed teacher is. needs a reminder. Gotcha. Just not as a as a teacher, subtly. not a sped, sped, not as a SLP. Would would that bother you if a speech path brought I you back? I actually think it's a really good idea because <laughs> okay. there's a lot going on in a classroom. Yeah, yeah, it's easy. And to so listen. having this, you can make it smaller um, or bigger and tape it to a desk, but it'll say, you know, at one o'clock we have OT. It, but we did name it Hall Past because that was the original request. Gotcha. And I kept that name for naming issues mostly. Because you have naming <laughs> issues, we know. <laughs> um, but it does work well for saying something like, you know, making passes for the restroom or how to behave in the cafeteria or walking in line. So very simple, two pictures and this picture's where text goes first, the second picture's text goes second. Very that makes sense. Easy. So that's your hall pass. Template. All right. That's, oh, we have a question. Oh. Yeah, we have a question. It says, is grid layout new? Uh, you are missing out, Jackie. It is not new. It is not on every template, but on any template that has a row column structure, mm -hmm. it's there. And uh, it's been there for, it might say new, new next to it, but I think it's been there for three years. <laughs> it's been there. It's not that new anymore. So. But it is to the side, and um, it is exceptionally helpful. You used yeah. all the time. Yeah. All the time. All right, now make. Glad it a you found less. it. Yeah. All right, our next. Look at all the stickies. Oh my God. Oh. You guys, I'm gonna have to show them the stickies. No, there no, are no, stickies no, no, everywhere. No, just, all right, what are we doing? I have no short-term memory or long-term memory. All right, the next template is a writing template. It is called Word Writing Template, okay. and it does one through twelve pictures per page and underneath every picture is a very simple primary line writing All structure. Right, let me get a good picture of this so they can see. It is like a good old fashioned primary lines. And you can say text or no text. Uh, great for practicing your writing or your spelling. Gotcha. Um, you can also add color background. So if you were doing say your core words or you want the symbols to match your core boards. Gotcha. Um, very nice and easy to do. Okay, and they're the right height. They are the right height. We've had a lot of discussion about, about what the right um, height is. I, right I've, I've heard some of these discussions. Too big. Right. Um, and yet still provide enough room for our young writers. Right. Okay. So so that's called word writing as not not writing pages and not writing words. This is word writing. And we added it to our fine motor section, which we've renamed fine motor slash writing right. and moved all our writing there. Let's take a look. So if you look here in our fine motor section right here fine motor and writing and so we've got uh, coloring sheets lacing cards cutting these are the ones that were there cutting lines uh, and then word writing is right here yep and our old writing pages are there these are our old writing pages and then I see cutting links is there oh what's that what's what's that is that this one that's this what a one. segue that was nicely oh. done all right, so cutting links. So these are for our OT friends and other uh, early childhood teachers who are doing grasp and cutting and fine cutting motor work. Cutting assessments, um, cutting practice, and why not make it fun? Absolutely. You know, um, and it's not only for cutting. Mm -hmm. So both the cutting sheets that are on our templates on here are often used for tracing as well. We've made dotted lines as well as the the wide lines if you want to follow you know stay between a quarter of an inch okay and so that's that's a different shape too so we offer many 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 different shapes uh you can do straight or I'm, oh, i'll stop talking <laughs> so, so, so sorry that was so graceful um i, I turned the camera off for that that was did. impressive wasn't yes, it yes all right drink so, <laughs> I forgot she's the one talking right now. All right, go ahead. <laughs> so uh, here's three billy goats gruff, and it's a curved line. Very okay. nice, smooth turn. And the last one was wavy, right? And we did wavy lines. We have zigzag so wavy, lines. Wavy, zigzag, And there's curved. even mixed ones where you have gotcha. straight. And, and do, do, do all the different ones have the, the wide and the, and the Everybody skinny has line? two different styles. The pictures come um, where you can pick the box color or no box. Do these have the grid layout on them? They do not because they're just maximum six pictures per page. It's yeah, we pretty put them on there easy to organize six pictures per page. We should put it on there. Oh, man. It's an easy one. All right, fine. It's an easy one. All so, right. Well, you so, yeah, so say that. I'm, I'm the one who said it. Y'all can hold me to it. So that one is down here under cutting links. And 
let's take a look at them. So they say we've got the line style, which is mixed or angle or zigzag or wavy. We've got thick or dotted. Uh, and there is no grid layout here, but there will be because it kind of, there's two columns. It should have a grid layout. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. And I named it links. Um, it was, it was tough to Because she didn't have a name. Oh my goodness. But it is making connections. So one goes to two. You see they're across from each other. Um, and three might pair with four. So Alyssa Wern says she's so excited about the fine motor and cutting pages. It's almost like we're preparing for like. AOTA, an an OT maybe? conference or something. I don't know. Or so, that these are on my list for a little bit They might have been here a little while. And I'm excited to get them. All right. All right. What, what's next? What's All next? right. Well, I we're still in the... Oh, show me your sticky notes. All right. Oh, gosh. Forbid. The next section is also in the fine motor and writing section, and it is called our drawing pages. Okay. So this is... So we're being more specific. Like, we had drawing pages. They were hidden underneath writing pages. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And so now we have something more specific. So the difference between these drawing pages and the ones under the writing pages, the writing pages all allow one to three pictures. That's it. And then a space for them to write in. A space to write, space to draw. Some are just writing, some are just drawing. Right. Um, but they involved writing and drawing. Right. These include more pictures as symbols to support the drawing. Yeah, inspire. What you write about these, draw a picture about... And these, it, you know, these are our, we're talking about our five senses, you know. Can you have uh, text underneath those? You can. You can do text, no text, boxes or no boxes. Oh, hey, look at the next one. There you go. So text underneath. Who, what, one. why. That's good. I Plan like that Plan your one. story writing. Mm -hmm. So these are just the simple boxes. What, you can do one picture to ten pictures underneath the drawing area. And then here's another example. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? Oh, look at that. And they match their core, um, our core board in the classroom. Those are all core words. They are all core words. Look at that. And then um, another style Did of our you, drawing out of, pages. Out of curiosity. Yes. Did you actually type in the word question mark? Whoops. I forgot to delete the word okay. question mark. I, I was, I was wondering what on earth that was there for. Thanks okay. for pointing out my error. I mean, I did that intentionally. Uh, because you're trying I'm to teach the question. question marks. That's the <laughs> okay. lesson for that fair, one. Fair enough. <laughs> Listen, I, you never know nowadays, right? It might actually be a thing. So. Um, so another style of the drawing pages is to have two rows with the dotted line. So if you want kids to cut out the symbols and rearrange them. So it puts the symbols on the bottom. It puts the symbols on the bottom. And you can't you can have two rows of symbols. Cut them out or write or copy. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, look at that. Now you get a primary line. And now we have the same thing. Same one to ten pictures and a primary line going. Just one line going across. Gotcha. So very, very easy. Gotcha. So right. if, you, if you don't find this be between this and the writing pages, you There's should have lot. your writing salute, your writing pages. There's so a this, lot of writing going on. This should work, right? Right. So uh, let's see. Alyssa Warren says those story pages will be awesome for organizing the steps of learning a math problem on the bottom oh, with space like above that. to work out the problem. <gasps> oh, kiss your so brain. make make that I... Alyssa and put it in the sharing center, and we will make it free. Oh, How about I that? Love I'll make that. it free. Do it, we got to do it today. That. If you do it today, I will make it free. Bringing it up. That's All right. awesome. All right. What else she you got? Rocks. She rocks. Do, should I show where that is? That Why not? Too. you got to get your next one ready anyways. So um, instead of uh, being here, that's still under our fine motor and writing section, and that was drawing pages. Drawing pages. And so then this is what the detail page looks like on that. You choose your layout. It'll look like one of these. Mm -hmm. Choose the number of pictures on the page, pick a font, and a, and a box color. Simple. Got it. Okay. All right. All right. What we got? We're getting close to the end of the new templates. No, and we've already kind of talked about the features, so we're doing well. Oh, no, we have a lot more to show. Yeah. All right. We've got we to get moving. Keep going. All right. Greeting cards. Greeting cards. We have been asked for this for a very long time, um, and we finally have them. They go in one full page, two which is like a folded, this style of greeting card. Where you, and you'll see it, it comes out as a two page PDF, so you'll have to do front and back. If you print it with duplex, does it come out right? I think so. Okay, I hope so. <laughs> and then- If not, um, we'll fix that. We have the simple four per page. Design, where you fold it twice. Where you fold it twice, and um, the other styles right there. Gotcha. It has wrapped text, um, one picture, 
for each. And so nifty dotted lines for you to fold on. To fold on to help us for those know of, where to go. For those but of it us lined have. up perfectly on my printer, so. That's awesome. I love it. Okay, love that's it. an easy one. And so, um, greeting yeah. cards. Greeting cards. So, back here, looking at greeting cards, uh, where do they live? I believe they live in literacy. They live in literacy down at the bottom. Or they live higher up. You don't know where they live. They must live under general visuals. There you go. They are. Where are They're they? in the beginning. Up oh, right there. Greeting cards. There you go. Greeting cards. Right so that's where the they hall are. Pass. So what I would do is I would type right here G R E E and it would just show me greeting cards. It's much faster. I'd hit next and then this is the detail page. It's pretty simple. Whole page, half page, quarter page. You got it. And uh, then the box color by default is white there as well. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. What, what else you got? Moving on. Moving on. This has been another one for discussion, like okay. the poem. This was a user request. Mm -hmm. Her specific request said something like the eye gaze board, where the pictures go around in a frame, but allow for one big picture in the middle. So and like it's a cross between the eye gaze board and large and small pictures. Large and small and semantic maps. Like it's it's a very versatile template, it gotcha. turns out. She her intention was to use it as a Play-Doh mat. So it originally was named Play-Doh mat. Right. But in the end we found that this can be used for a lot yeah, of Yeah, this isn't things. a Play-Doh mat. This, this is, is this is all kinds of main ideas. Yes. So right. you have your main idea in the middle and maybe all your attributes or characteristics, whatever, going around the side. Okay. So this holds one to ten pictures going around, mm -hmm. and then one in the middle, which would be number 11. Number 11. Okay, so it's going to be based on the number of pictures in your tray. So if it says 11, yes. that's going to be 10 plus the one in the center. Right, and it does have a grid layout, so oh. you can organize it the way you want. Is this one of the other ones we added the checkbox to? I think it is. Maybe. I think it is. We can find out. We will check in a second. How about that? <laughs> We've done so many what templates, is that? we don't remember. Is that the same template? This is the exact same template. This right, so is show. a circle. Sure. Show the, the last one, all right. Well, just like picture cards and all our templates. Yeah. They're very versatile. Um, this has the boxes on the outside, and I chose one of our um, road letters, street letters. Mm -hmm. And on this one, I said no boxes around the outside. It is mm -hmm. four pictures plus one large one, and I just chose a circle. And the large one go is first. And the large one is first. The large one is first. So gotcha. using this as a Play-Doh mat, we have some Play-Doh ideas, and maybe your final Play-Doh product can go right here. Gotcha. Well, let me let me uh, go ahead and show them this. This was under uh, what main idea is what I look for, right? Main idea mat. So it's a main idea mat. Main idea mats. Yep. I see those samples. Look at that. <laughs> and so, so this does not have a grid layout, but it will. <gasps> what? It does not have a grid layout. Well, that'll be done. Let me write that down. <laughs> so that that we're going to come back to this one because this might not be the easiest one to make a grid layout on. All right. But um, yeah, so we'll figure this out. You didn't need it. How about that? You chose ten and and it worked. I did B words and they just went around the outside. Gotcha. I was certain it had it. Okay. Well, now we know. <laughs> you didn't need it. Obviously, you would have told me. So we came to the end of our new templates. That's all the new templates. That's all the brand new top level templates. All right. So that means that, so when we say new top level templates, that means if you look in the, in the wizard on the left hand side of that box, we've now covered all the ones that are new in that. Yep. But there's more new stuff. Oh, there's always new stuff. There's new stuff. Cause I see a lot more papers. Oh, here. it's awesome. And, and like, I see, I see, um, a few stickies. I, I, I see like. I see lots and lots of sticky stop, notes stop, stop. everywhere of things we have <laughs> to talk about. All right. So uh, let me check if you have any questions. Thanks for all your hard work in making this affordable, accessible for us teachers. Jackie, you're very welcome. Uh, she's been working her butt off. I'm not working nearly as hard on this one. Uh, I just had to make the boxes disappear. And it's very cool. Which is pretty he cool. He makes the magic happen. I don't. She, I tell him she what makes I want. all the templates. Oh, and that's, then awesome. they, that's all there is to it. All right. So um, what's this? Well, uh, I do not work alone. This is a new books and stories template helped um, designed by Beth Poss. Okay. And so Beth Poss, SLP extraordinaire. Everybody knows her, and yep. we hired her. And 
We sat together and she's like, I really need more lines underneath our books and stories. So together we sat down and made it and I love it. You love it. Are I these under it. books and stories? These are under books and stories. They're called primary lined because they have three primary lined. We already had one that had one line and this allows for three. New temperature. So the new style. The the only thing I'm not thrilled about this. Listen, it's it's awesome, but the mm -hmm. only thing is it kind of splits the idea of writing under a picture under two templates. Yes. Three, three templates. You got writing pages, drawing pages, drawing pages, writing and books words, and stories. And books and stories. All right. So other than other than that, I think this is fabulous. But where <laughs> where do I find this? This is under books and stories. All right. So we go into books and stories, mm -hmm. which is right here. Yep. And I have, I have multiple lines of text for each one. Yep. And it does and so wrap. Now it says lines. No, it says primary lines. Primary lines. We line. already had lines. This is primary lined. Yep. All right. And we hit finish and it will make. I'm admitting to a naming problem. You have naming problems. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's okay. We're all doing good, right? Mm hmm. Uh, you guys all love it. They're not, uh, they're not complaining. So. So let's see. So that's the um, that is the new template under books and stories. This what else? This is uh, expanded. Very simple. These are counting card or clothespin cards. Mm -hmm. Clothespin counting cards. Which used to go to twelve. Used to go to twelve. Now go to twenty-four. So now so, it goes to twenty-four. Uh, if your kids are counting higher than that, they need to move on. They don't need clothespins anymore. <laughs> that might not be true, but it's but, not true, but. It, they're getting ridiculous. There has to be some <laughs> limit to, to where we stop. We stop at 24. This is a user request. There's four cards per page, um, and they're great. You don't have to use with clothespins. You can use with bingo daubers or um, little bingo chips, whatever you want. Gotcha. Oh, I should probably turn these, uh, turn those off. What's the matter? Uh, we had text on our faces. Oh. We're good now. All right. All right. Another older template, um, mazes, now has more mazes. More mazes. More mazes uh, come amazing all mazes. the time. Uh, our user wanted just more two picture mazes, so one and two, work your way to the end. Using story vocabulary or our tick words. So um, these are new pictures, I believe, too. Let me, you can't see the whole page here, so there you go. So we have this uh, square box mm -hmm. shaped template we have one that takes you through a journey of seven or seven words or so so if you're practicing your that, that is words actually or errorless. following a sequence it is not quite errorless you can't but it's, get stuck very long you know it's pretty simple uh, gotcha it looks like an easy maze mm -hmm. it's not meant for you <laughs> <laughs> and um, one where the picture you work your way to the middle gotcha now that one looks like you could get stuck for a while mm -hmm. that's more my, my kind of maze yeah. So. I'm going to make some hard ones just for you. And just for me. Time. Got a leprechaun tr finding the uh, pot of gold. Must be March. It's not yet March. It's getting All there, right. though. Almost. What we got next? We have graphing sheets. Has some a new style. Okay. Our previous graphing sheets, if you don't know, this is an early template. We've okay. had this a long time. It used to look like this, mm -hmm. where the pictures would be at the bottom, and you could have spaces where the kids could color as they count how many K sounds they make, or there was a numbered option. Yep. And there was an option where you had no lines going across and graph your candy hearts, but now we have it top down by user request. Okay. So. And then if you want to put pictures in there to actually mark them, then you'd use the chart table. Chart table. Chart so this tables. is blank, nothing will be in there. Gotcha. Okay. This is a very popular template. And one I love, our Bingo Dauber templates. We had a request, and they were right, to have more holidays. And so we've added, oh, You maybe. did Valentine's Day on the 20th of February. Yes, actually, this one, I think, <laughs> went live earlier. Did but, it? Um, okay, good. But it's new. Good. <laughs> and then we've added, I don't know, maybe nine more. It'll be there I next year. I only printed three. So we have St. Patrick's Day. We have snowmen. Okay. There's, it's still snowing um, somewhere. There's a sunflower, cowboy, uh, all kinds of stuff in there now. So let's so take a look. Let's take, go take a look at them. They are here under Bingo yeah. Dauber, D-A-U, Bingo Dauber pages. And so now there's like, there's like a ton. I mean, this is, 
So here they are. It defaults to flower right now, but because we've got spring. But there's so, apple yep. is new. Apple is new. Um, let's see what else. Cowboy is new. Cowboy. Easter is new. Okay, it's dinosaurs. Sorry. Dinosaurs is old. All right, <laughs> Easter is new. Uh, fireworks is new. Flower. Uh, let's see. Mermaid was there. No. Raccoon. Shamrock. Shamrock. And we did Snowman as well. We showed that. And Sunshine. And then Valentine. Valentine. So Turtle is new. Turtle's new. Turtle somewhat, new. somewhat new. And, whoops, that's still Turtle. So. And then we had Valentine. Okay, so these are, bingo dobbers. these are other bingo dobbers, and you can see the previews there. You um, know, these cute themes are fun and motivating for kids as they work through whatever the objective is on that page. Mm -hmm. And there, you just take the, the dauber and stamp them as they do whatever it is you're trying to get them to yep. do. Or little balls of Play-Doh and mash it on there. Or Yeah, you laminate them. Whatever use, you want. Use a dry erase marker. Dry erase markers. Yeah. All right. All right. What's next? Working through our styles, our new styles, we have certificates. And we just added one new certificate. Thank you. Thank you Apparently for Miss Teresa. Yes. Right, and it has just one picture. You can make it however you want. I made a... One with a blank line in the middle so I can fill it in later. Gotcha. And um, to thank you with big funky font, and uh, it's nice and easy. Just a new certificate there. Gotcha. All right, I'm not going to bother showing how to make that one. <laughs> what else you got? All right, we're going to the last one. Good. Yeah, you'll be happy. Yeah, I'm happy. So we talked a little bit about this one already. These are our writing pages. As opposed to drawing pages. These are writing. Or books and stories. The difference with these is there's only one to three pictures. Okay. So if you choose a style and you pick one, the sample on there will have a picture of either one, two, or three. Um, but know that you can make it with any of those options. So, for example, this one was, um, one. oh, I don't remember what it was. It's whatever. one. It's a dog. It's a drawing page. A, would you like me drawing to show it writing. on writing. Don't say drawing, writing. They're going to never find it. Oh, right. All right, so this is That's under... That's actually what it's called. All right, so this is under writing, writing page. pages. There you go. They can see what we're doing. Writing pages. Yep. And then on the details page, it's drawing, drawing and, writing. and writing. It's the default one that comes up. It's the oldest one. Gotcha. That um, I use a lot. Okay, so that's drawing and writing with like, no, drawing and writing. Drawing and writing, right there. That's gotcha. the, the one we're showing under the camera right now. Right there. And you can see it has one picture or two pictures or three pictures. Gotcha. All right. So that's the default. So keeping that's that not in, new. That's not new. Okay. But keeping that we're format in mind. Talking about it because something is like that but not quite the same. <laughs> All right. So this one is called Drawing and Copy. Okay. And it puts the title here not the text of the picture. Okay. So you'll want your title to be whatever it is. Why not the is. text of the picture? Well, the... Because it's going to have more than one picture. It's got it. So I if got it has it. three it, pictures, okay. which title would I put there? Right, right. Okay, that makes sense. So the, the text for the picture will go underneath, or you can say no text. Um, the idea behind this is you, students can copy the same words, mm -hmm. or um, like in this case, same thing. It has the primary line. Um, in this case, we there's a gray line there where you can cut it off okay. and have a model sentence to work from. And then if you want, you can cut up the words. I lost the eye somewhere. <laughs> but it says, I, I don't like, see it. Well, who knows? Might okay. be stuck to the back of another page. Um, but it you can sequence the words. Okay, you can, you, so you've cut those out. So this is like manipulation and learning literacy through manipulating the words and mm -hmm. things like that. Which and maybe your objective is finger spacing and you're just going to work on them spacing the words. So, you know, whatever your goal is for your individual students. Gotcha. Okay, so that lets so, you cut that out, including cutting out the picture. Drawing and copy, a new style of writing. Gotcha. And so uh, just while you prep your next one, that's here. It's called drawing and copy. Yep. All right. And so that says writing pages because that is the title. It's not the name of that picture. Right. So that's <clears> the title. Gotcha. And while you're here, we're going to go to the drawing and primary lines. Drawing and primary lines? Drawing and second one down. And drawing and primary. You do have a naming problem. I have naming issues. All right. Let's take. Let's see what it looks like because these are all awesome. 
So again, one to three pictures. If you have one picture, it's on the side. Um, two or three will go just above the lines. Okay. So, so the kids have word, room to write about whatever it is after they've drawn. A little bit older kids. Sure. Starting to write. There's a lot of options here. Yep. Our next one has just primary lines with one, two, or three pictures. And a lot of lines. And a lot of, a lot it's of just lines. writing a whole paper. Page. It's, why are we, we're making writing paper. We are. Okay. We are with visuals. With visuals, one one little visual. Yeah. You get one through three. One through three, one visuals, through three visuals on there. On there. Um, we chose gray as the line to keep it a little bit lighter. Yeah, and mm -hmm. not drive me insane. All right, I like that. All right. Um, on this one, this is called, uh, what is it called? Primary lined with header box. So Primary box. lined with head, and that they're writing the header. So there is no place that this title is shown. Well, I mean, yeah, on the on the footer. But there's no like title at the top. The kids nope. write there. And you can say put the title of your story at the top or write your name at the top. However gotcha. You and you can do. do one, two, or three pictures, and they all go down the, th the side. You got it. All right. You got it. And the next new style of writing pages is um, primary rows, and this has obviously rows of primary with pictures down the side. One, the two, The only or three. difference is the heading. The heading is um, the title, yeah. right. done in gray. The last one had a, a, t a heading for them to write in, and this one doesn't. Right. Okay. Right. Nice and easy. So you have my story. Once there was a leprechaun, or how? How are you going to stop Humpty Dumpty from breaking? breaking? Yep. Don't put him on the wall in the first place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we did it. That's it. We did We're it. We're done. I think we worked through them all. All right. All right. Well, that's a lot. Ooh. We did. You did a lot of work. And we did it in under an hour. We went through all of these. That's very impressive. Yeah, about 40 minutes because we started late because somebody wasn't here. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, let's take a look and see if we have any questions. I don't think we do. Um, Barbara's excited to share it with her SLPs. Uh, let me get a... That's us. So yeah, um, Alyssa loves it. Um, Jackie Roy says, uh, is the grid layout new? It's not. And... Um, I think we've covered everything else in here. And says these are some really neat things. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. We're glad you guys like them. That's why we uh, do it. Uh, it's been kind of overdue for us to have a, a show and tell here. Did you show those? I did. All right. Our question cards. I have, they were my favorite. Just so you guys know, <laughs> we might have a big stack over here of stuff we just showed you. So if you have questions... Well, actually, the first thing I would say is, um, if you could, share in the sharing center these new templates. So if you're making new things, and let's say you're making a charts and tables template, and you think it might not be applicable because it's a child's individual ske schedule, still share it because it could inspire someone else to, who didn't think of using that template in that way. You know what we could show? We could show, let me show them something. Um, in the screen, Yes. over here, so if you're ever in the sharing center, uh -huh. uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that down the left-hand side, there's this option that says filter by material type. We are getting a lot of uh, there's a lot so you a lot of power in this you'll site. you'll notice that um, this is the same list that's in the wizard, mm -hmm. and so if you want to go in and look at scales and ratings, it will only show you scales and ratings that people have shared. If we choose one of the new ones, it probably won't have much in it. It'll have all right. of these. Here. Chart table, <laughs> right. So here's um, what Lori made and shared, right? Yep. Because it's been a day. Uh, but what you'll find is if, you, if you're not sure how people are using one of these features or if you want to make, you know, focus on hall passes, right? Um, there you go. There are two things shared by Lori. So thank you for those. But make sure you look through here and, um, and look at how other people are using these. You might find... There are templates that are used in lots of ways that you didn't expect. We see it all the time, right? See we see we see flashcards used for just all kinds of stuff that aren't flashcards. I'm often right? blown away on how people are using things that I've never thought yep. of. Yep. Yeah, it's very so. impressive. You guys are very impressive. Yeah. So thank you for all your work, uh, and make sure you do put the... Um, I should have done that in the other order. See that? There you oh. go. So thank you for um, joining us, of those of you who did. Uh, that's, you know, that's actually not our worst number over there, the number of people watching Yay. that right now. So um, thank you for joining us. And if you one have questions, thing. oh one, boy. One more thing. What? Look. Look. Mobile. Oh. 
Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so you can yeah. see, we can see right through her. It's the mobile <laughs> power. I can't so, get up there so without yeah. looking crazy. <laughs> you can turn the green screen <laughs> off. Um, so yeah, all yeah. this stuff works from your phone. It does. All the templates are there. Every, all the power works. It's very cool. It all works exactly like it does here. Yes. Right. Yep. So, so pretty just cool. Just wanted to throw that in in the end. Excellent. Any questions? Any qu if there are any questions, feel free to put them <laughs> in the comments below, or there's a help link at the top right of Lesson Picks yep. that comes right into this building. Either Eileen or Eric will uh, field that. If it really needs to come to us, just say, please ask Bill. There's only one Bill. Or please ask Lori. There's six Lori's, but they'll know which one you mean. I got Lori go or egg. We got, yeah, there's an awful lot of good Lori's. But they'll know, they'll know who right you now, mean. Yes. Say you need to talk to the boss, and it will get to her. Right? There you go. Hey, you're the, you're the boss. You run there the joint. There you go. So, all right, guys. I, I like the sound of that. That's how it works. This is not new. <laughs> so if you guys have any any comments, any questions, post them below. I will check them later tonight. And I, keep sending your ideas because 99% of these came from our members. Yeah. I love it. I love yep. your inspiration. And we don't always do them quickly. But we always see them and we always consider them. Sometimes, you know, oh, there's one more new template. Oh. <gasps> Do you have it printed? I don't. It's Zingo. I forgot. I'll go get the box. You want to bring it up here and show it? Yeah. All right. I'm so, so sorry, guys. All right. One more. And I All didn't right, even think it about it. I'll go get All right. So you do it where? Right here under clip art. There is a new template. So this too was asked for by our users. It's under adapted board games. And I kept saying, there's no way we can make this. There, how are you going to make this? And we did. Now you have to print on stickers to make it work. Oh, oh look at you. I'm working on it. I know what I'm next. doing. So we have our adapted board games, and now there's a new one, Zingo. If you're familiar with this game, it's a lot like bingo. In fact, I've made it with a bingo card. You didn't know how to change this. I don't know how to change this. Don't put me in charge of running the uh, show. And so do you have any that have <laughs> the stickers on them? I'll get them. Right. They're in it. Oh, they're in it. Hold on. Yeah. Then I can do this. All right, let's try this again. We have one more template. I'm, I'm glad I remembered it. Yeah, right? All right, let's see. Zingo. And all right, Zingo. Let's take a look at Zingo. I'm off Zingo. The Zingo. It's this silly sliding thing. Yeah. So, look how oh, they're going to love this. This is going to be their favorite thing. It's super And you cool. almost forgot to tell them. And the new Zingo has the same picture on both sides. So if you put the stickers on one side, you still have access to the original Zingo set on the back side or front side, however you want to word it. I've made the outline that you cut out yellow so it blends right into the tile. So those of you who can't cut, like some people in this room, um, you don't even notice where the yellow is. You can be as bad as me. Yeah. So there's our zingo. Right, let's here. Let's get a kind of a closer view here. Ready? Wow. No, Are we out? One. Do you only get one? Apparently so. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, only one side seems to be working because we're you know we're on. Because it's a live demo. <laughs> Do we know how to put them in? Oh, there's one stuck in there. Well, there's one stuck. Oh no! And it's a blank one. That. It's not us. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Good thing we have all these paper clips around. Yeah. Anyhow, zingo. All right, try it again. Let's show them how that this works. All right, so no, nope, that's not how you do it. That's not how you do it. No, you you put it. You put the top on. There's no tiles in it. Okay, you put the top on. Okay. We don't know how to use this game. <laughs> there it goes. All right, you put the top on, like that, and then. What are you doing? The kids feed them, like this. And there's even a little kerchunk thing here. See. So somebody didn't do that when they loaded it, and that's how it got jammed up. See that? I so we see. feed it like this. Look at that. So we can feed Zingo. Right, and then if you do it that way, then when you, may I? All right. You put it in upside down. 
All right, I don't know what's wrong with this. Oh, maybe oh. they flip. I don't know. We have to learn how to play Zingo. You put it in backwards. All right. All right, somebody will have to teach us how to play Zingo. So if you put this in. Apparently they flip over when you put it in. Yeah, apparently they do. All right, whatever. You <laughs> fill them up like this then. And then they fall. And the stickers are fine. The stickers don't make it jam up. That's not the problem I was here. surprised, but they've actually worked amazing. Right. So, so this is the first time we've had an error, and that's because the camera's on. That's right. And Teresa and uses it all the time. It. Right? Yes. So there you go. So when this thing slides. And she has such creative ways fine. for embedding this in her therapy, you know. Do you have any crabs but not ducks? So what, did you show them where to find it? I did. Adapted did? board games. Adapted board games. And if you notice, um, what Lori said about the yellow is true. I will hit finish and go ahead and make these and show you what she means. All of these, regardless of what border color you pick, these are going to be yellow. Because that way, when you cut them out, this is exactly the right color yellow to match the, the Zingo game. The Zingo tile, but you can do colored backgrounds. Yeah, uh, but they'll have the border. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. All right. So yeah, bonus. One, yeah. Last one, one bonus game, <laughs> Zingo, um, and we'll figure out. I don't know why that's not working. I don't know. Maybe maybe one of the kiddos broke. Maybe we broke it. I don't know. Maybe it should start full, and then you put just a couple in the top, not start with an empty one. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Good enough. Um, I think we're done. All right, we did it. We did it. We and, uh, really did it. And now we did take an hour. Now we took over an hour. So thank you for those of you <laughs> who stuck around. There are, there are more people than the last time we said this. So <laughs> Zingo is a draw. How about that? So um, yeah. let us know if there's anything else you'd like us to add. We also would be happy to add other adapted games. This was a request that came in, um, and it wasn't as hard as we thought it was going to be. Right. Yeah. Right. It actually Did you tell them they great. need to buy the... Um, the Avery sticker pages? No, I did not. You have to buy the Avery sticker pages for that to work. Mm -hmm. um, nobody, I'm not going to go get them. Nope. Avery sticker pages, the whole page is the a sticker. The full sheet. And you cut it out. Cut it out. Um, yep. Okay. Thank you. All good. All right. Bye, guys. See you later.